What's up everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you a new video today. Today I wanted to start a series that I've been contemplating and thinking about and I wanted to bring it to you today. It's going to be called What You've Been Missing. And in this series I wanted to highlight different TV series and different films that aren't like getting that much shine or getting talked about as much as other films or other series that are like always on social media or always on YouTube getting reviewed or talked about and stuff like that. And excuse me for my look or my eyes, it is 2 in the morning over here in New Mexico, so I'm like pretty much in the middle of the night shooting this, editing and everything. This is the best time to do most of this stuff for sure for me with the kiddos and everything. <laughs> so we're going to talk about today a TV series that I wanted to bring to you guys. I really enjoyed this show, so let's talk about it. So for today's first episode of What You've Been Missing, I'm going to bring to you a TV series called Infinity Train. It's a science fiction fantasy TV show that was started on Cartoon Network. They did for the first two seasons on Cartoon Network, and then it was picked up, picked up by HBO Max, and they actually carried it on for two more seasons. So there's four seasons in total, and all four can be found currently on HBO Max if you want to watch this show. Owen Dennis is the creator of this show and he's also the creator of the regular show and like this has such an, a great and amazing vibe to it like I said it's an animated TV series and some people can kind of be turned off by that but I can tell you from my perspective and viewing this show and watching all four seasons I binged all four in one night once I started I could not stop myself and this show for me from my perspective has some of the best character development and character driven storylines of any facet of anything in terms of live action or animation this show is top notch for sure like I said the writers and creators did such a good job of just making their characters three dimensional and really bringing them to life in a way that you care about them and you want to watch the story and see it carry on and we also have an amazing voice cast too to go along with this series like Owen Dennis himself, Ben Mendelsohn, Ernie Hudson, Ashley Johnson, and J.K. Simmons. Like all of them in this in this show, like they just bring to life so many amazing characters that I really love and that's what's great about this show is that's the driving force is the character development and all the storylines like it's just so connective and so realistic and it actually pulls you in so like it doesn't seem like just an animated series because it's so rich and it's storytelling and the characters and like you care about them so that's what I really love about this show for sure. Also, the music. The music is also top-notch. It's something kind of similar to like a Daft Punk or like a Tron-type vibe, Tron Legacy, if you've seen those films. That kind of like almost like techno-y, but really synth like synthesized music. It really does fit the vibe of this show for sure. And let me talk about just kind of a gist of the storyline, not give you too much details because I definitely want you to check it out and watch it for yourselves. I don't want to spoil too much. And the show starts off with, in the very first season, we meet Tulip, our original protagonist. She's our very first one, and she's kind of at that point in her life where she doesn't know what she wants to be and her parents and deal with some things because her parents are going through a divorce. So she doesn't know how to deal with some things in her life in a healthy way, and she decides to run away. And as she runs away, she comes across the Infinity Train. And the Infinity Train is kind of like, I want to describe it as almost a Chronicles of Narnia thing, how the kids walked into the wardrobe and then they walked into a different world. That's kind of what the Infinity Train is like. Tulip ends up jumping on this Infinity Train and every car is a different world, a different new aspect. Like, just take your mind and let it just wander because every car like I said there's talking dogs in this show there's robots there's like mirror image cars like there's so many different things in this series and that's what's great about it is it like with the infinity car and all the different cars you can create your like realms and the creators and writers have this freedom so it really does lend itself to helping that creative nature in your brain and everything and tulip as she jumps on this infinity train has to go through the cars and tackle them and each car kind of helps her with something that's going on in her real life and solve something about herself 
And that's really the whole point of the Infinity Train. But what's amazing about this show is that there's different protagonists throughout the four seasons that we do have currently. There's a different protagonist characters in each season. So it doesn't overstay its welcome, and I really love that. And it's only 11-minute episodes, and that's speaking pretty powerful for a show that's animated and it's only 11 minutes long each episode that it had me engaged so much that once I started that first season I could not stop I just had to go all the way I binged it in one night when like the kids were asleep I just started and went all the way because like it was amazing I really enjoyed every moment of this show and I had to figure out what was going to happen or where it was going so I'm thoroughly entertained and and happy with this show and I hope they really do get a fifth season coming for sure because I'm looking around online and hoping to find out if they do come up with possibly a fifth season and that fifth season that they're going to be coming out with sorry I'm stuttering and like blah, 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 like speaking all crazy like I said it's like literally 2 a.m. over here in New Mexico <laughs> but it's like I said such an amazing show because of all those reasons the voice casting the music in this show, the writing, the rich characters. And like I said, even though it's an animated show, it just really has everything that is amazing to offer you. And I can see why HBO Max picked it up, picked it up because Cartoon Network, it, it has a cartoon vibe. And like the animation and the drawing is very similar to like Adventure Time, a regular show. But the themes that it tackles throughout the show are very deep and mature like kind of similar to like Blade Runner you know like what's our purpose what really is a human or what is a soul you know those kind of things like are tackled themes like that in this show so it's very rich in that kind of aspect and I really had a great time with this show and I urge all of you to go out and watch this show like I said it's currently on HBO Max so go binge this show just like I did seasons one through four and I hope to God like I swear like they're coming out with a season five I will be count, like looking around online and I will keep you guys posted if I hear anything about it thanks for sticking around with me guys I hope you like this new series what you've been missing if you do, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I post and everything. So, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you. Either go watch the show, let me know what you thought of it, or if you have seen the show, tell me what you thought of it. I would love to hear from all of you. And as I said, leave a like. It definitely helps out the channel. And I'm also going to be, like I said, continuing the series, probably doing one episode every week of what you've been missing. If you guys have any ideas on TV shows or movies that I might not have seen, definitely hit me up in my Twitter or my Discord handle. I'll have that in the bottom corner so you can check that out. Hit me up there and send me some links or send me some info about some films or TV shows and I'll try to check them out. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.